It's raining out there, kind of windy, what a nasty day to be outside. So what I thought I'd do today is visit with you uh, in terms of maybe the tsukubai in the Japanese garden. Tsukubai is part of the garden. This is where you see uh, water that's coming into a basin. And the theory behind that is before entering the tea house as a guest, if you get invited, you're supposed to cleanse yourself. So you wash your hand, and, but it's also about mentally cleansing yourself. Because when you enter the tea house, you should be in a pure state, in a very Zen state. And that's what the Japanese garden is supposed to do. As you walk around, your goal is to get to the tea house, and then at that point, you should be in a very calm state, in the Zen state. But today's project is just about the tsukubai, just this one element within a Japanese garden where you will squat down, wash your hands, and be prepared to enter and in the sandbox. But uh, one of the components of the tsukubai is usually the, the most dominant, the rock that will kind of set this off. So remember uh, our other videos where I said bury it to its widest point so that it looks stable and looks very natural and large. So hopefully, let me double check. Okay, I changed it so that um, actually I think this is a better looking side. So you had the front, I have the back, and I had it reversed. Had the other two rocks. And then going back to uh, other videos, we talked about the one, two, three. Well, this was our classical three rock arrangement. Okay, so the next step, we're going to need some sort of a water basin. Of course, these are all handmade by me, and we're going to see which one will fit this situation the best. So, is this the best one? This better? This one? Or is it this one? I'll go with this one, uh, at least for now. Um, it might change. Now, have a way to get there. So, of course, it's the stepping stone. Now, this too should be somewhat more uh, interesting. Right now, it just goes straight on. So, so you can see that uh, instead of going straight on, which is uh, like a freeway, this is more like a meandering path and you get there. I think it's a lot more interesting when you do it like that. If this is going to function at night, you will need some light. So I'm going to try at least four. There's one, two, three, Four. So um, now this is all about a sense of proportion and balance, right? And I think I'm kind of leading towards that one. They put a tree next to it. Actually, it would be a Niwaki or the Japanese garden variety, right? So you could see where the value of the Niwaki that I've been teaching. And I think that might be the one. I do have a smaller one. Final touch is the little bamboo spigot that uh, adds the water to the water basin. Out of this little short chapter, and it was mainly about the tsukubai. Now, uh, hopefully, if you kind of understand this, Go back and, well, it'd be better if you were able to visit these uh, actual Japanese garden. But at least um, 
go back and look at the gardens that I visited. Okay, so uh, some that really sticks to my mind is the one in Portland and Seattle, San Diego. I know I've been to other places. Hopefully, when you take the path and walk slowly around and before exiting, you will have calmed down and hopefully have hit the Zen state. So anyway, this is Hiro Matsuda saying goodbye. If you enjoy this, let me know. If you want more, I'll do it. If you don't want to, I'll quit. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for um, inviting me on YouTube to come visit you. So I'll try to make more of these and try to explain small element so you would understand the meaning of the whole garden. So I'll see you again real soon.